Hey guys, it's day 80 now and our special guest was Aunt Dana. She came and picked us up yesterday and put us up in a hotel and put food in our bellies and then dropped us back off on the side of the road today. So that was really awesome. Also, she brought a little care package from home, so that was cool. And I got some wound care supplies for my feet, which are actually looking much better this week. So, and now we're, we're on our way. Uh, we had backtracked, she took us into Front Royal, which was a nice, uh, nice little town. We ate at a couple restaurants. Uh, we ate at the Mill on Main, I think it was called, and then Soul Mountain. And then they have a CNC's ice cream parlor where the guy makes all homemade ice cream there. And that was really good. So definitely if you ever hike the trail or you're on the trail now, or you're planning your trail, check that out. Cause it was really good. Good town to go into. And now we just have an easy day, just under four miles and we'll be at the shelter. So pretty happy, pretty good weekend. <laughs> Good morning everyone, it is day 81 and we are getting ready to start a section of the trail known as the roller coaster. It is a 13 mile long stretch that is just a bunch of short, well not short, kind of short and steep up and downs. There's like 14 peaks or something like that. So we will take you guys along for the ride. Dun -da -da. We've reached a thousand miles. Finally entering a new state. We go across the West Virginia and Virginia border for about 20 miles. And then you're in West Virginia for about four more. And then you're done with those states. So, and then we'll just start knocking states out really fast. Some will, will be done within just a few days. Some will take a week till we get up to Maine. And that'll be the last and the next longest state. Got a nice little view of a storm that's coming our way. So, we had some rain, so I'm pretty wet, Ryan's wet, Mike's soaking wet, shoes are wet. It was like you were there when they were filming The Notebook, and if you've never watched The Notebook, you have no idea what I'm talking about, but if you have watched The Notebook, it's like the one big rain scene in the movie, so you know what I'm talking about. Trail's wet, uh, parts of it were pretty much ooh, just a river. So, yeah, that's about it. We'll see if uh, we dry out any before we reach camp. Good morning, guys. It's day 82. You see the Blackburn Trail Center. That's what I'm showing you guys right now. Um, it is not a hostel, but they do have a small bunkhouse out back, and they have 10 spots, water, and they made up a really good supper last night. Um, that's pretty much run off the donation. And then they have an inside screen porch. Outlets. Phones. Tables. So it was really awesome after we got rained on last night to come in.
the ATC. unofficial halfway point it's like people call it the psychological halfway point because once you've reached a thousand miles and you've reached Harbor Ferry usually you can make it to the end so definitely feeling good about it uh, got me some new shoes got me some oboes at the outfitter here so the resupply kind of wasn't that great at all the town is very historical and it's very touristy, so it's kind of expensive, but that's okay. We got what we needed and we're headed back out. All right, so it's the end of our day and we made a last minute decision to go to the Harper's Ferry Hospital. And we're not actually staying in the bunkhouse and we're not even actually tenting. They said we could sleep under the pavilion because it's, it's raining right now, it's supposed to rain all night but at least it's covered and it's got netting around it all. So, um, you'll notice we don't usually stay at hostels. We're kind of cheap like that. And since there's three of us, it's cheaper to get a, it's the same price to get a hotel anyway when you split it three ways. So, got our pads out on these chairs. Um, hopefully we stay dry tonight. And in the morning, we paid for all you can eat pancakes. So, that is, another main reason we came here. Morning everyone, it's day 83. We stayed at the Harper's Ferry Hostel last night. We stayed up under the pavilion and then we got up this morning and had a fantastic breakfast. It was all you can eat pancakes. They were blueberry pancakes, they were so good. I had like seven or eight of them. And then she also made sausage and eggs for us. And we got coffee and juice this morning. So, really feel good. It was a good, good full tummy. Uh, yesterday, we left Harper's Fair. We weren't planning on going there. And we got to the road and we were like, you know what? We're hungry. We don't want to hike in the rain. We still had a huge, like, three mile uphill. So, we just said, you know what? We're going to the hostel. And it was worth it. And even though we didn't stay in the bunkhouse, which was a really nice bunkhouse, by the way, it'd be a good place to stay. Um, it was still definitely worth it to just skip out on the rain and keep our shoes dry. So, we're planning on doing 15 miles today, taking us to another campground. I don't know the name of it, but, um, it's supposed to rain for the next few days. Like, the next 10 day forecast is all rain, but we, it's not bad right now. It's just drizzling. It's not even that bad. So, good stay as dry as we can, but you know what they say, no pain, no rain, no main. So, just one of those things. 
Hey guys, it's day 84 and we are at the Washington Monument in Maryland. We are now going up the Washington And if I jumped on this, I could get home. Because right by where I live is the 70 75 interchange. Morning, guys. It is day 85 and it's raining. Uh, did not rain yesterday. So it was really nice because our shoes dried and now they're getting wet again today. These new shoes I got, these Obos, working great for me so far. And today we knocked out our sixth state. We're done with Maryland and we're in Pennsylvania now. Maryland, probably one of the easiest uh, trails we were on. I mean, we were only on it for two and a half days, but it's pretty flat. And a lot of the times you can walk right by someone or like Ryan and I would walk right by each other. So definitely the easiest state you'll knock out. And today we are headed uh, to Waynesboro to resupply. And then tomorrow we're getting picked up by someone special. <laughs> 